Hey y'all, it's Amanda with Tap Mom in the Bag Brigade. Welcome back to my channel. This is Mornings with Jesus, our daily devotional. And this one is for Thursday, April 11th. And it starts with a Bible verse and goes as follows. Why, my soul, are you downcast? Why so disturbed within me? Put your hope in God, for I will yet, yet praise him, my Savior and my God. Psalm 42, 11. Now our inspirational story. Last winter hung on for what felt like forever. It began when the sky turned gray in early November. Rain fell nearly every day for nine weeks. Living on a boat presented unique challenges. Mildew grew inside my kitchen cupboards and on the wood paneling in our sleeping berth despite our best efforts to reduce humidity. January arrived, showers turned, excuse me, showers turned into snow when temperatures dropped below freezing. The river froze and ice thunked and scraped against our sailboat's hull. My husband rose early every morning to shovel the dock and I sprinkled salt to melt its frosty glaze. Inside our boat, condensation collected and dripped from the hatches. The frigid arctic front lasted two weeks. One day the te temperatures rose slightly and the ice and snow melted into puddles and slush. But then the rain returned. By mid-March I was emotionally done with overcast skies, damp cold, and mildew wars. I craved sunshine and warmth, flowers, and the freedom to take a long walk without getting soaked. And then it happened. The clouds parted and the sun appeared. I headed outside for a stroll along the river and that's when I saw the purple cro crocus. Its bloom cheered me. The sight was like a salve for my weather-beaten soul. The simple flower was a reminder that winter's gray and, and chill would not last forever. The seemingly endless season that caused distress would pass in God's time. Brighter days, teeming with hope and new beginnings, were ahead. Grace Fox Faith Step Recall a way in which Jesus has given you a sign of hope in the midst of a difficult season. Well, I think, <laughs> I think we've all been there. I hope y'all enjoyed this one as much as me. Please remember that I love you and so does Jesus. And I will see you on the next one. Bye now.